Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. And today we're going to be doing a full journey between Harrow and Wills and to Elephant Castle. Hello and good morning, driver. Today you are in charge of 203D Harrow and Wills and to Elephant Castle along the Bakerloo line. You're clear to head into the station once Class 378 London Underground Service has cleared the signal at the end of Harrow and Wilson Station. Departure from there is to be 742.52. So, yeah, let's get the train ready. Oops, not too sure why I took a screenshot there, but okay. We've taken the screenshot there. Got another North to Railway service arriving at Harrow and Wills then. And we're just going to be waiting for this all ground service to depart before we can head into our platform 2 at Harrow and Wills then. So as you guys know, the all ground services do share the same piece of track as the Bakerloo line between here and Queen Spark, so we do have a bit of a wait. We've got Virgin Trains passing as well, so it's getting quite busy at Harrow and Wolves then. So yeah, I think everything is set up anyway. And another Northwestern Railway so it's only down. There's actually quite a lot happening at Harren Wilson, which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. So we've seen like a few London Northwestern Railway services and all ground service ahead of us. One of you missing is a southern service, which we'll probably see at some point, as they only run hourly services between East Croydon and Multikin Central. Let me just on the lights for this train. So, um, there we go. Yeah, we're good to go. Once I've read small changes. So this is where the Bakerloo line basically goes after it drops passengers on platform one. Or we'll basically go here, change ends and then arrive on platform two, ready for its service to Elephant and Castle. So we are using the Piccadilly Line 1973 stop train. And the destination is set up as Elephant Castle, which is nice. Are we good to go? Uh, so it looks like we got a red signal, so I guess we'll wait. I'm guessing it will tell us to go, but I'm not too sure actually. Arrive at 7.40. I think we should be okay to go actually. Yeah, I think we're good to go actually. Normally, our uh, bakery lines are already on the platform, but it doesn't depart until it's uh, departure time, so we are actually good to go. The tracks are already set up for us. Got another northbound Bakerloo line terminating in Heron Wilson. Change it for London Overseas Railway Services and London Overground Services. And you've got another Pendolino, very nice. So this scenario has a lot of AI, which I really like. So this is going to be going to be a lot of fun, basically. Doing this scenario. So basically, that big blue line will go where we were. So we'll go into that middle terminating uh not platform i guess but like sidings and they'll basically do what we're doing now taking southbound service to um what do you call it elephant and castle so this is actually the west coast mainline south version 5.2 so as you can see these have been updated to say london north railway because obviously there's no london midland anymore so yeah Version 5.2 is looking very nice and it has fixed the tunnel problems and the platform's not appearing properly between Kilburn Park and 
Elephant Castle, so it's basically fixed the problems that I've been having on this route, so I'm really happy about this. And it is available for everyone to purchase on the Alan Thompson website, so go ahead and download it now. It's quick and easy and yeah. Blue Lion service calling all stations to Elephant and Castle. So I've been waiting to play the song for a very long time, but today is the day and I am really excited. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. Let's see a nice screenshot here, why not? And this train is ready to depart. Please find the doors. Next station is South Kenton. literally every single piece of AI on this part of the route already which is amazing
This train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station is North Wembley. I've updated these signs as well. For the old ground roundel, etc. Bakerloo line north one, platform one. I'm not so there's obviously there are updates to this route but I'm not too sure what all of them are. I'm sure we'll see them as we obviously drive down this route anyways so this station is Wembley Central where you can change for London on the ground and southern services. But this is Wembley Central. Change it. Head over to platform 5 and 6 for serv southern services. London Office and Wallway. Wembley Central. So my graphic settings are low, that's why it's quite blurry. If you are wondering. I've changed this pole to like a nice green colour, which is really nice. I'm assuming this terminating platform is for free trains, I'm guessing. You can only assume that that's the case. Anyways, next station is Stonebridge Park. Where some uh, Baku line or farm services do terminate. So what happens now is that we're going to be going underneath and towards the left hand side. Basically, we'll see the West Coast main line on the right hand side and to the left hand side in a short while. <coughs> now we are going to see down to the top speed.
essentially now you see the West Coast Midland on the right hand side. railway service all the way there so once we get to Kensal Green Station then we'll see the we'll be alongside the West Coast, Coast Mainland again but this is where the tr uh, trains go sometimes and terminates here and then basically we'll turn back and take a service to Elephant and Castle but this train is ready to depart please mind the doors Next station is Halston. So we've got Halston, Wilson Junction, Kensal Green, Queen's Park, Kilburn Park, Maidenwell, Warwick Avenue, Paddington, Edgware Road, Marley Ball. I believe that it's Regent's Park. And then Baker Street, or is Baker Street before Regent's Park? I'm not too sure. I think that it's uh, Oxford Circus, Piccadilly Circus, Charing Cross, Embankments, London, Waterloo, Lambeth Fourth, and then Elephant Castle. I can remember the top of my head, so we've got Walton Junction, Cleveland Park, Mainville, Paddington, Edgeware Road, Dennis Marley Ball, Dennis Baker Streets, Regent's Park, Oxford Circus. Most of it, right? It's not too bad. Now we're going to Halston. We've got the McVitie's factory here, which is Accra. There is actually a McVitie's factory over here. So if you guys like biscuits, then head over to that factory and he has many biscuits as well. I guess we kind of needed it. I did uh, break a bit late there, but that's okay. Sometimes you need the emergency brake and it does come in handy. Anyways, this is Halston. Next station is Wilden Junction, where you can change for London Overground services towards Stratford, Richmond, Clapham Junction. He is ready to depart. Please find the doors. Next station, Walton Junction. But yeah, if you guys want to make me some scenarios for this um, route on the Bakery Line, then please do. Maybe you guys can make me one, maybe from Elephant and Castle to Queen's Park, or Elephant and Castle to what you call it, Stonebridge Park, because obviously we have a uh, Northbound service that terminated Queen's Park and of course uh, Stormage Park, so that would be pretty cool to do. But as we head to uh, the Bolton Junction,
believe only free services to use that anyway, so... But there is a piece of track which will pass off to Wilton Junction where, um, uh, we, uh, services do, uh, go to North London Line, passenger services. But I stopped a bit. Uh, okay, apologies for this poor driving by myself. I don't know why I broke so early at the station, but anyway, this is Wilton Junction. Change it for the normal gun services, so... This piece of track will connect to the North London line, which is always up here. Now, so here's the North London line platforms for the what do you call it, North London line. So towards this side will be towards Richmond and Stratford. No, not Stratford. So Richmond and Clapham Junction, and this side will be towards Stratford. And we're going all gun service there. Anyways. Let's continue our journey towards Kensal Green. Session will be Queen's Park. Any fast trains coming from Houston? It doesn't look like it. And this train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station is Queen's Park. I haven't actually been keeping an eye on the signals, so maybe I should do as we approach Queen's Park because the big blue line does get quite a bit held up just before Queen's Park, as obviously there's services that start at Queen's Park and some at the different castles, so there might be a train ahead of us that we might have to wait for, but at the moment we've got green signals.
this time we got green, green and yellow, so it looks like we are good to go. Sometimes you'll see Bakery Lines trains here in the shed. big blue lines there in the sidings which is really really nice but yeah this is Queen's Park change your London all ground services as this is your last opportunity to so we have tracks on the left hand side and on the right hand side which is over where the all ground services go towards London Euston got these two trains under here which looks quite nice actually I'm just gonna take a screenshot because why not? But yeah, we're gonna be heading into the tunnel as we see an old grand service arriving at Queen's Park. The next station is Kilburn Park, which actually used to be my local station as I did used to live in Kilburn. For those who don't know. only see big blue lines unfortunately so not much AI unfortunately from this point onwards Blue Line Service 2, Elephant and Castle. So before the platforms weren't loading up properly for me, but now it seems like it's fixed, which is nice to see. And this train is ready to depart. Blue Line goes. Next station is Meadowville.
<laughs> My bad. I was thinking I went too slowly into the platform, I guess we wasn't, so. Did always shoot this. So I do apologize. I actually went on a bakery line on others. So as you can see, obviously we'll go for it, so. That's so it's going back towards Ivan Queen's Park to uh, Harold Wilson. This train is ready to go. Please mind the doors. Next station is Rourke Avenue. Can change it for Little Venice. As far as I can remember, that's what the announcement is in real life. Change it for Little Venice. I'm pretty sure. My favorite one is actually uh, change it for local z uh, bus services to ZFL London Zoo, which is obviously Regent's Park. I really like that announcement. Anyways, next station is London Paddington. Or you can change for the circle, Hans of the City, District Line, and Natural Rail Services, and service to Heathrow. Uh, yeah, basically, you can take a change for a lot of things at Paddington, so I recommend getting up to Paddington. Unfortunately, you can't really take nice screenshots because it literally fit, the train ho literally fits the whole platform. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. Can I take a nice screenshot here? Yeah, that'll do. Paddington. And this train is ready to depart. Please find the doors. Next station is Edgeway Road. So there's actually two Edgeway Road stations. This one is only for the Bay Clue line, but there's another one which is not too far away, which is obviously for the Circle and Hammersmith and City line. Oh, it's speeding. Apologies for speeding. Yeah, close the edge of the road and make sure Literally next to each other. Might even be faster to actually move from each 
station. During peak hours, obviously, the driver wants to see if people are still getting onto the train, etc. But that's quite nice that they added this. Really nice. Oh, yeah, this is Road. I would say it's probably faster to walk from Paddington to Edgeway Road than take the train, I would say. As long as you can walk quite fast, but I would say it's a lot faster and obviously ch cheaper. Next station is London Marleybone, where you can change for National Rail Services. Services to Birmingham, Snow Hill, and Aylesbury. Change of natural rail services. Got Keith Lemon here. Quite a nice film if you guys want to watch that. <laughs> so there should be a tunnel, but obviously they have they painted a picture of the tunnel, which is actually quite funny actually. Nice touch. And this train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station is Baker Street, where you can change for the Circle, Hamsterman City, Jubilee, and Metropolitan Lines. Some platforms are longer than others on, on the, these stations, which doesn't really make any sense, but anyways. This is Baker Street. Quite a nice screenshot. signs that say this side to uh, city or circle and the lines that would have been a nice touch but anyways let's get going
Regent's Park. GNG for London Zoo. train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station is Oxford Circus. We can change to the Central Line and Victoria Line. And of course Oxford Circus. High Street. right in the back of the train, that's probably why we only saw the station right at the end, so that was a bit interesting. But anyways, we're at Oxford Circus. Dogs die in hot cars, okay. And this train is ready to go. Next station is Piccadilly Circus. This is the Bay Glue Line 2. I live in the castle. Essentially you would just wait here and then obviously you can see the platform there and you can see the big blue line arriving on south one platform so pretty unique This train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station is Charing Cross. Where you can change for the Northern Line and Natural Rail Services.
where we had London Charing Cross. Big blue line service ahead of us, as you can see. So we do have a red signal and a red red signal here, and obviously a yellow signal. But obviously that's changed to green, so we should be okay. Don't think we'll get held up. So it's Charing Cross. Station is in Bankland. Or you can change for the circle and district line. I was going to say the Hamilton and City line, but that is incorrect. for the circle and district line so we got London Waterloo left Lambeth North and Elephant and Castle and yeah it's been an amazing journey so far and yeah if you are having problems with the platform not working properly then make sure you Download version 5.2 of the Westport's Mainline South Route, and it should hopefully fix it for you. And if it doesn't, then well, there's nothing I can do about it. For me, it's fixed, but it might not 100% fix for you, depending on what routes and assets you have installed. So the next station is London Wars Loop, where you can change for the Northern Line, the Jubilee Line, Natural Rail Services. And more natural rail services from the to east. because I want to take a nice screenshot so I know that the red doors is probably not opened but I just want to take a nice screenshot oops there we go really nice Anyways, this train is about to depart. Please mind the doors. The next station will be Lambeth North. And I think I might have hit the live streaming key, so you might see me live, but don't worry, it's a mistake. This will be a video, not a live stream, so yeah. I think it's F3 on my keyboard, but I don't want to press anything to stop the recording by mistake, so. We're just gonna leave the live stream to be on and I'll just turn it off once the scenario is finished. But anyways, we're arriving at Lambeth North Station. I'll put a multiple stop on the Bay Canoe Line. This is 
Lamb on off. Next station is Elephant Castle, where this train will terminate. Yeah, that's not a very good sign, is it? Yeah, I should have went a bit forward actually, to be fair, but anyways. Got one stop left on this journey. Just Elephant and Castle. Probably shorts just before Elephant and Castle. The essentially, I want to take a screenshot at Elephant and Castle. So if I don't stop at the precise location, then I'm doing it on purpose. Because I just want a nice screenshot for the thumbnail. Screenshot, but anyways, this is Elephant and Castle where this train terminates. All change means all change. This train terminates here. But yeah, I'll take a nice screenshot uh, after this recording. Well done, you have completed this scenario successfully, thank you very much. So yeah, that was the Harrow and Wilds in 2 Elephant Castle service. Once it finishes, there we go. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give it a like, share with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.